Hello everybody, what's going on? It is M10 here back with another Terraria tutorial. And in this video, I'm going to be covering every single drop that you can get from lava fishing. So to begin lava fishing, what you need to do is you are going to need to craft a lava proof bug net. And you can do that by combining a bug net and 15 hell stone bars. Uh, the other option is if you have a golden bug net, you can start doing this as well. So, when you have a lava proof bug net, you are going to need to capture hell butterflies in hell. And you cannot do this with a regular uh, but if, uh, with a regular bug net. You can only do this with a lava proof bug net or a golden bug net. Now, there are three different types of hell bait that you can get. They are the hell butterfly, uh, they are the magma snail, and the lava fly. So once you have those items, you will be able to fish in lava. Just to clarify, you can use your regular fishing hook. You don't need a hotline fishing hook, but you will need that special bait to begin fishing. If you do have the hotline fishing hook, however, you can use normal bait to fish in lava. So you're all prepared and ready to dive down into hell and start lava fishing. And now I'm gonna get into the drops. But before we do that, Make sure to smash like on this video because these longer videos take a while to make and I would appreciate all the support I can get on this video. So I'm going to separate lava fishing loot into two different sections. Crate based loot which you get from opening hellstone or obsidian crates and then non crate based loot which you just get from fishing in lava and you have a chance to pick it up. So these include the demon conch. You can get the Lava Absorbent Sponge, you can get the Bottomless Lava Bucket, and of course you can get the two main fish, the Flare Fin Koi and the Obsidian Fish. So these are the two fish that you get from lava. They are both used for crafting Inferno Potions and the Obsidian Fish is used for crafting Potions of Return. And if you want to learn about the latter of the two, the Potion of Return, which is a new potion in Terraria 1.4 Journey's End, I will leave a link in the description to a guide I have posted about the potion itself and how it works. So check that out after this video. So let's start with the Lava Absorbent Sponge and the Bottomless Lava Bucket. Now these items are the counterparts to each other. They work the exact same as the Water Bucket, the Bottomless Water Bucket and the Absorbent Sponge, except as you can see, the Lava Absorbent Sponge soaks up lava and the bottomless lava bucket gives an unlimited amount of lava. So these are pretty niche items that you can use if you are making a trap. Uh, say you want to put lava somewhere where enemies can die. Or if you've spilt too much lava and you don't want it destroying something, then you would use the lava absorbent sponge. Then on the other hand, the demon conch teleports you to hell. So if I quickly grab my magic mirror, teleport back up. Instead of needing to go down my elevator, can save time by teleporting directly down into hell. Ta-da! Ain't it fantastic? It's just great. So the rest of the items you can get drop from obsidian crates or their hard mode counterpart hellstone crates. And I'm gonna go through them now. There's quite a few items that drop from these things. Uh, there are also several cosmetic items that you can get from these crates as you can see here. I'm just going to go through them real quick. We have two volcanoes, we have the lava serpent bowl, and we have five different magma plants. Now these look pretty cool in my opinion and they will be nice additions to your base. You can also get a hanging pot just there. So that's all the cosmetic items and stuff like that that you can get. Um, now I'm going to get into the actual usable items. Uh, well, that was an accident, but you'll see what this does. This is a wet bomb and it works exactly how you would expect. It throws water on and when it impacts with something, uh, it'll spread water everywhere. So obviously when it impacts on lava, it creates obsidian. And because we're in hell, the water's uh, draining. But also, you can craft dry bombs from this. So, uh, you don't need anything to craft dry bombs. You just need wet bombs in your inventory. 
and they absorb liquid. So if you have accidentally flooded your base, this is the way to fix it up. You just grab the dry bombs there. Up next, we have the armored lava proof fishing hook. And how this works is it allows you to fish in lava with regular bait rather than your old hellstone, or sorry, hell butterflies. And this is fantastic if you have uh, high powered bait such as master bait in your inventory, because that way I will show you the comparison between fishing powers real quick. So without the, uh, with the hell butterfly equipped as fishing bait, we have 60 fishing power. Then if I stick on this armored lava proof fishing hook and switch that around, look at that, 92 fishing power. There's a big difference and that will certainly make a big difference whilst you're actually doing the fishing. So I feel like now is a good time in the video to mention this, but lava fishing is quite time consuming. Uh, it isn't as easy to get bites as you usually would be able to in regular water. So try and boost your fishing power as much as possible. Just to get 10 crates so I could duplicate them in journey mode for this video, it took me a good 15, 20 minutes to get them all whilst I had 200 plus fishing power and I was using a crate potion. Like it was, I, I set the world to raining. I set the time to be frozen at dawn to have the highest possible fishing power. So I would highly recommend that if you are not in journey mode and you want to do some lava fishing, that you get some items from the angler first. And that way you can boost your fishing power. All right, the next item we are going to be looking at is the ornate shadow key. And that summons a pet shadow mimic. Ta da look at that go bouncing around there. Um, nothing really else to this, just a, just a little funky pet. It's not a light pet, it is a regular pet. And that's not the only pet that you actually get from here. You get the Slice of Hellcake, which is a Shadow Imp. So if we compare the regular imp here to the Shadow Imp there, um, and it's a, it's a, this is a baby imp as well. So this one flies around and follows you as well. If you have a look here, look at it go. Okay. You can see it there. So up next we have the Flame Waker boots. And originally I thought these were supposed to be a Hell counterpart to Hermes boots or June Rider boots, but they are just a vanity item. And what they do is, as you can see, they light a fire trail behind the character. They only run at 18 miles per hour, which is the exact same as the character. However, they are used for crafting with the Lava Waiters. And when you combine them with the Lava Waiters, you get the Hellfire Treads, which provides the ability to walk on water, honey, and lava, grants immunity to fire blocks, and seven seconds of lava immunity as well. And it also leaves a trail behind you. So it doesn't really do anything more than just add the vanity to the lava waders. But I wouldn't see why you'd make that anyway, because you can also make the Terra Spark boots. And then just stick the Flame Waker boots in your vanity set and it works the same way. So up next, I'm gonna show you the Lava Shark Mount, also known as the Superheated Blood. Now this is a mount you can of course get in pre-hard mode from the Obsidian Crates. And the cool thing about this is it swims in lava. Uh, on land, it's quite slow, 10 miles per hour, but under water, it can receive speeds of up to 73 miles per hour. Although in most places, you won't find a body of water large enough that you'll actually be able to reach that speed. However, if you want to have some fun and absolutely mine out hell and just beat the wall of flesh on this thing, I think it'd be a lot of fun. Another thing to note is whilst riding this thing, you have lava immunity, even if you don't have an obsidian skin or lava charm going on. However, if you uh, press R and turn off the mount, you will start taking damage in lava. So I would recommend that if you are gonna accidentally fall in lava, quickly, hop on this thing, it'll be very beneficial. Another thing to note is that the Lava Shark can jump out of lava and liquids and water onto land. Uh, that's just something to note because in comparison to the Hardy Saddle, it cannot do that. But one final thing to mention is that according to the wiki currently, it says that you can also obtain lava charms from these obsidian crates. Now, I have not been able to get 
any lava charms despite the fact that I have opened over a hundred of these obsidian crates but if for some reason you have found one from obsidian crates please let me know in the comments section down below but for now I'm gonna say that they don't spawn from uh, lava fishing so the final thing you will get from opening obsidian crates and you should get one of these per crate is an obsidian lockbox and these are basically like shadow chests they require a shadow key to open and you will get all of the shadow chest items from unlocking a bunch of these so they drop the dark lance the flame lash the flower of fire the sun fury the helming bow the treasure magnet and the demonic hell cart which is a lava mine cart Anyway, that's all I really have to say about lava fishing. That is every single thing that you can get from fishing in lava. I think some of these items are quite useful or fun. I think these all look really cool and I would love to see them around my base. Uh, that will be all for this episode. It did take a little while to make. So if you do enjoy this sort of longer video guides, please make sure to smash like on this video. Uh, currently, the poll that I put on my channel says the next video you all want me to make is how to get every single whip in the game. So I'm going to continue working on my playthrough first so I can get all of the whips and just make sure I know how to get them all for the video and have the information there ready for you. So that will be my next uh, big upload at this, this stage. Anyway, I hope you all have enjoyed this video. Uh, please subscribe, leave a like, comment, and I will see you all next time. See ya.